Endo. He's gonna take a tumble. Don't take my chips. In the middle of it. <laughs> and all I got was wet socks. This is what big rooms does. Hello, MTB. And welcome to my crib. Come on inside. <laughs> I didn't see you there. Welcome to episode six of Yikes We Chill in the season finale. Um, yeah, so we're in a fucking sewer. Um, we should probably get ma Mouse! Get your fucking ass out here. Mouse! It's time for the summer special. Oh shit! Sorry, I'm late, guys. How's it going? Yeah, good, mate. We've got your fucked up seat. Take a seat, buddy. Whew! Sorry, I'm late. How are we? Yeah, good, mate. Sure. Oh. Thank you. Yeah, man. So, where you just been? Um, can you recall the story that I told back in episode one? Fuck, all the way back in I know, episode one. I know, it was one. a while ago now. Yeah. Um, but... I used to explore the sewers of my local suburb. Mm -hmm. And it just so happened that one of the pipes actually leads out here. Huh. Yeah. So I say it's the sewers, it's not really. That's stormwater off the street. Okay. Um, but if you go about three and a half k's in, there's a massive concrete wall. Fucking you climb hell. over the top. And it gets you to where the um, stormwater and sewer run side by side. Oh, delightful. So they don't mix, but you can climb up this concrete wall, this massive divider, into the sewer stuff. And you can decide to play in the shit. I know. I, don't, I haven't done that yet, and I don't intend on doing that. But yeah, so this is one of the spots. Um, how I got here was I went into a different entry about... Oh, would have been about five kilometers south of here. So I was crawling for about five kilometers and something like that. Luckily enough, it actually opens up enough to, to walk through. So it's not too bad. No, um, just, just for the people at home, <laughs> as producer Zach and I were loading up the car, Mouse voluntarily chose to walk through the storm drain to commit to the bit. I know. That, that's, yeah, that's fucked up, but it's... Put it there, mate. Fucking good-o. <laughs> right, let's get this show on the road, Have huh? you told the people about the summer special? Oh, I mean, this is yes. what this is all about. Wait, what the fuck? Yeah, so basically what's happening? 16 days. 16... 14! Oh, Come on, producer. <laughs> 14 days. 14 videos. And I don't know which day this is. What, no, what day are we? We're, December 10th. December 10th. 10 days in. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope you guys have had a wonderful summer. And you guys are enjoying the summer special. And we're in the home stretch now, man. I know. Four, four videos left. I know. Oh, man. I wonder what four videos they are. I, I, guess, I'll, I, I guess you'll have to stay tuned to the catchment to find out. But you can check out last video right yeah. here. There you go. Oh, <laughs> But yeah, so yeah, the summer special is something that I'm pretty pumped about. I mean, I've yeah. been enjoying the videos that have been coming out. I, I've seen some of them, and it's it's a little fun. There's a little, 
There's an MTFM episode in there, too. Oh, shit, that's a little bit of a throwback. Yeah. Fuck. Remember that? Wow. Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, you can find that video up there as well. Little, oh, hold on. Bang, there you go. It's up there now. So go check that out after you finish watching this, of course, if you not. haven't seen it, which you should have. If you leave, <laughs> I won't forgive you. It's pretty dark in here. We've got sunglasses. Yeah, I, just because I thought we should commit to the summer bit. Yeah, fair enough. You know, these actually aren't prescription sunglasses. I normally, as you can <laughs> see, I normally wear these things. But I've decided, fuck it, I'm going, I'm going, uh, fucking Bravo 6 dark on this one. And yeah. I'm committing to the various shades of brown. Much like Michael, you would see me wear my script. Luckily, mine are prescription, so I can still <laughs> see. <laughs> Shut up. But yeah, um, those aren't your sunglasses. No, they aren't. No. They're yours. <laughs> yeah, they are. Um, funny story behind those sunglasses. So they're actually my grandfathers he gave them to me yeah um granddad mouse yeah uh great guy I absolutely love him he used to take me out on huge walks yeah and we used to go on these massive like three four hour walks in the forest mm. and one day we went out and it was really 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 sunny um and i didn't have sunglasses this is back before i even had glasses yeah and so in the glove box of his car, he had a pair. That exact pair that he gave to me. Now, there's a silver, silver, no, the blue. There's a blue pair identical to that, mm -hmm. that he wore, but he didn't like them. So afterwards he gave me both pairs and said, here, you can yeah. keep them. Gangster granddad, I know. what the and, fuck? And I was about four or five at the time. And you can oh, imagine how gangster I yeah. I felt wearing Ooh. those shades. I feel gangster right I now. I know, I know. They're pretty damn cool. Um, I got severely sunburnt though. <laughs> <laughs> but that's oh, okay. It's exactly. all in the fun of it, right? Exactly. You know, um, on the on the topic of like going out with grandparents and stuff. Yeah. Did you ever have um? Did you ever have, like um go on any trips with your grandparents? Of note, like uh, did you did you travel much as a kid even? Um. Yeah, so my parents both stayed at home and worked, so I never got to go out a lot. Um, but my grandparents, they would always take me for road trips in the summer. Yeah. And we'd always go up north and do some insanely cool stuff. Um, and I remember there was this one road trip that we went on. We left here about, I'd say, one o'clock. Hoping to get to our destination at about 5. Yeah. 5, 5.30, 6. Around that time. Yeah. Um, but my granddad, he took a wrong turn. At first, we didn't think of anything of it. And we thought, oh, it'll join back to, to where we need to go. And, yeah. And she'll be fine. I think by about 5 o'clock, we realised this road ain't going anywhere we want to go. <laughs> we should be by oh, a destination right. by now. And he's like, no, no, no. I know where we're going. Yeah, fuck. And so we uh, ended up going down the Forgotten World Highway up north. Yeah. It wasn't about until about midnight mm. that we ended up seeing anything. Because <laughs> it was just <coughs> road. Mm. There was nothing else. And oh. yes, yeah, so it was midnight and we pulled up to this pub. Because I was starving. <laughs> my grandmother was starving, my mm. grandfather was starving, we thought, I hope this pub's open because we need to eat. Mm -hmm. And so anyway, we went in and sure enough, it was open. Yeah, yeah. And the locals, they were like, oh, hello there. <laughs> and, they, and they invited us over to their table. Hello, and, traveler. Yeah, and they, um, oh, the lady behind the bar, she brought out this huge roast chicken. And said, here, yeah, have this. I was stuck. We ate so much good food. It was wonderful. Middle of nowhere. And really delightful food. So we were there. About one o'clock rolls over. My grand grandparents is having a, having a drink with the locals. And I'm sitting there. And there's this pool table. Yeah, yeah. I've seen photos of pool tables, but I've never seen one in real life. Mm -hmm. And so what ended up happening was I was... I was walking around the table trying to figure out what it was. 
And so one of the locals walked over and they said, do you want to play? And I was like, okay, how do you play? And so, one o'clock in the morning, I'm learning how to play pool with some short, stubby locals <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. And I ended up playing for about two hours. It's about three o'clock in the morning at this point. How old were you? About five. <laughs> Yeah, oh. all the locals, they were pissed drunk and they would have a great old time teaching me how to play pool. Yeah. And whenever I go out and play pool, I always remember the things that they've taught me. Mm -hmm. And sure enough, it works because I seem to win. Are you a, you're a cracked pools player? I am, I am. Hold on. Hold oh, we've got some visitors. Hold on. Look at the. Do you mind if we swing the camera around? We've got a live studio audience. Yeah. By the looks of it. Oh, producer Zach struggling over here. Can we get Come a? On. Can we get a close up of these bad boys? We got some, uh, some visitors. We've got some visitors. Let's see if they want to. Are you gonna toss them a chip? Is gonna give them a chip? Just toss it over. See if they'll take yeah, it. Hold on. Yeah, there they go. Come on. Look at that. Duck Whisperer. Oh, the baby. We like animals here at the Catman. Sorry. That's right. But yeah, ended up playing pool and about we are we left at about five o'clock. Oh yeah. The next morning. I think I'll I think I'll see. <laughs> I think I'll I'll leave these as an accessory. I love them. I love them with all my heart. I yeah. love them with all my heart and soul. Yeah, those back to you. Oh cheers mate. But yeah. yeah after a trip Zach. It was about Yeah, we left at about five. Getting on driving, you know what was on the other end of the road? Nothing. A new world. Oh, fuck, okay. Yeah. Sophisticated. Middle of nowhere. But someone's told me that you used to work at New World. <laughs> and you got some stories from there, eh? So I quite literally, okay. <laughs> Recently, yeah. um, to pay bills, I started work as a part-time checkout boy at New World. Nice. Mm -hmm. Nah, it sucked. Good lord. I mean, my co-workers were fine, first of all. My first and last paycheck, I got severely underpaid. I also, throughout, I only worked there for about five weeks. Oh, and okay. I had to wear, they didn't have any uniforms in my size. Ah. Oh. And I had to wear a shirt that was two sizes too small for me for five weeks, a month and a bit. Ouch. It fucking sucked. It was like wearing a crop top, bro. I'll tell you what. Yeah. And so I was feeling it. And we started... Well, at New World, they started this little this little promotion. Where, uh, you know, you, you, you spend a certain amount of money, you get some stickers. some sti um, A certain amount of stickers lead up to glasses. Yes. And I was... And I've just, and I've just moved into a new crib, right? So I was feeling a little malicious. If they're not going to give me my shirt or my money, we're well, going to steal some stickers. I'm feeling a little devious. <laughs> so I'm standing next to the checkout, little roll, little roll of uh, little roll of stickers, and I rip off a couple and take a booklet. I see that nobody noticed. I rip off some more. Yeah. And to, uh, and and more and more and more and more and more and more. <laughs> So How at many home, did you end up taking? Um, so at home I've got about five booklets worth of stickers. Wow. Um, yeah, so our, like, our cupboard is thoroughly stocked with glasses, which is nice. That's good. If any of my co-workers see this, I apologize. Actually, no, I don't. You were all a gangster. <laughs> but not as gangster as those glasses. I'll be... That's crazy. 
Yeah, man. I mean, I think... Did you ever have any, like, shit part-time jobs, Mouse? No. I haven't. No, fuck. Arms <laughs> and flex. <laughs> I think everyone starts off with, like, Maccas. It's like a part-time job. Um, bro, that's one thing I won't do. I won't go to, into fast food. I've, I've only seen terrible things, bro. Yeah? What have you seen? Like, um... I had a friend at high school that uh, he decided to start it. He started working. Yeah. And he worked at Macca's. Okay. Day one went past, he complained about how shit it was. Cool. Yeah. Day two went past, complained equally how shit it was. Yeah. Day three rolls around, he doesn't turn up, and he just quits on... He doesn't even quit, he just doesn't show up. Okay. Yeah. I, I know of another girl at um, my school who worked at Macca's. Yeah. And she didn't even go in to quit. She got her parents to. That's a that's another thing. No. Nah. So that goes to show that goes to show like what Macca's can do to you. That's stupid, eh? I mean, personally, I try to be as respectful as possible when I'm like leaving a company. Yeah, as you would. Mm-hmm. But because mainly because I want my payout. <laughs> <laughs> but like, yeah, you I want to leave on a good note. Exactly. Yeah. But I don't think that's possible in places like Macca's or like KFC or something, something like that. It's just not good. No, there's some good people there. Oh yeah, yeah. I have one of my um Alex from episode four. He oh, worked yeah. at Macca's for a number of years. Nice. He was a drive-through main. Shout out to that guy. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, whenever I go through a drive through or, like, interact with people who work in fast food, mm. I mean, I always give them respect because yeah. I've seen some of the shit that they have to go through and some of the Man. disrespect. It's it's absolutely appalling. Man, it's like, it's yeah, they're the first line against dumb, hungry cunts. <laughs> the first line yeah. of defence. It's, it's like, I... I because there was a number of our people in my year, in my last year at school, and they all worked at our local KFC. Okay. And the amount of, like, people that just, like, came up and abused, like, the drive through window. Yeah. It's a little comical. I mean, how much, how, how passionate can you be about a, a, about a box of Wicked Wings, right? That's, Give me my fucking nuggets. That's stupid, eh? You gave me barbecue instead of sweet and sour. I don't, I don't, I don't understand it, eh? I don't understand why people have to be so disrespectful. It's it's sad. Yeah, man. I mean, it's just like they, you know, obviously it's not like they, the, um, the fast food workers can do much, right? No. Like, what are they? What? I um, on like another note, when I was back at New World, yeah, there was this guy that went on a whole uh, environment tirade at me, like, cause he he found that one of the bags. It was, we have these, um, there are these bags at New World. Yeah. Where it's like, it's like a paper bag with a strip of plastic in it so you can see what's in the bag, right? And you oh, put okay. like baking and stuff. In yeah. There. And, but he, like, there are pa fully paper bags, right? Yeah. And the bro rolls up to me and he's fuming. I could tell this man was seething. And he was like, it's just fucking stupid. Yeah, it's cheaper to make these and it's bad for the environment. And it's like... Oh, brother, that's a shame. We do have paper bags. You know what? You should take this to your manager so he can take yeah. it up the food chain. It's like, oh, bro, but, like, there are also paper bags. It's just ridiculous. It's terrible for the environment. And I was just like, yeah, man, it sucks. Like, what do you want I, me to do? Yeah, exactly. I, ugh, man. There are some, there are some just fucking dumb tongues, eh? Sadly. <laughs> oh, right. right. It's, it's, it's appalling what some people can do. Mm-hmm. Okay, here we go. Subject change. <laughs> Segway. Um, the mole fucking, um... What do we got? Actually, there is a story on our little list that I have here that kind of ties in. Okay. With, uh, with shit comes at Macca's. Yeah. Um, I'm going to set this up a little bit. Now, are you much into sports? Somewhat. Yeah? Yeah. Well, 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 tell me about it. Tell me about it. Um, I'm quite into my mountain biking. Yeah? Into my... Skiing, that sort of stuff. Oh, okay. Getting outdoors. Not so much a team sport, more solo sports. Yes, yeah. Yeah. As, as, yeah. Oh, Getting out there and being active, though. Yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah. Personally, 
not much of a sportsman myself. Yeah. But um, in high school, I did. I, I wasn't a stranger to a little bit of basketball. Okay. I, I, I dipped my toes. Um, yeah. But yeah, I joined a, like a social basketball team in high school. Yeah. It was my last year, so I was like, fuck it, why not? You know, it'll be a bit of fun. And it, and it, was, it was. It was great fun. It was just a bunch of lads, a bunch of, you know, rugby yeah. lads fucking around on a basketball court. <laughs> yeah. Trying to figure out the game. We won about two games in the whole season. Wow. But, you know. There you go. Have you, have you ever had any bad injuries from sports, though? I remember, uh, like, when I was younger, like six, my parents made me play football. And, like, oh, I remember, yeah. like, I was a magnet for the ball. It just, like, got kicked, <laughs> and then I'd get hit in the head or the stomach. That's all. Goodness and I'd me. fucking sob and then sit out for the rest of the game. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. I mean... There's, there's more of the... What? Look at these guys. Tell... Yeah, tell your friends. There's more. Look at them go. See if you can throw it and it catches it in, the, in its mouth on the fall. Oh, that was close. Not quite, but yeah. Um. um anyways, basketball. Yeah. These um. These. So me and the lads. Yeah. After gloriously losing again. It was a tradition for us all to jump in our respective vehicles, and would make a little convoy, and would go to <laughs> Macca's, right? Yeah. And we decided to eat in at this uh, at this stage. We were like, "Fuck it." So we all fucking mur, 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 park in, right? We jump out the vehicle. Yeah. And as we're walking up to McDonald's, I catch a little whiff of someone. My bloodhound senses go off, and I notice that there's a man outside smoking a little Zaza. He's, he's sitting there sipping on the thing. I was like, oh, go him, right? Yeah. Can't hurt <laughs> Zaza outside of <laughs> Macca's. You know, why not? Yeah, yeah. We crack open the door, we mission, we order our food. Yeah. Our food gets there. We're sitting around munching on our kai. Right, we're yeah. Um, 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 eating it out. Flurry. Yeah. And another one of the lads in my in, in my team, uh, we'll call him Clark because he was like Superman. <laughs> he was just this fucking no. Nah, he was like he's like six three, wow. built to shit, the okay. most jacked motherfucker you will ever seen, and the nicest guy. Yeah. Right? He's a lovely fellow. And he sat at the end of the table a, a few seats down from me, and we're sitting there. I see in the corner of my eye there was um somebody rolls up on the um on the bro and just you know I I, I think it's like a little bit of roughhousing it's like oh, oh you know okay. so two mates you know catching up you know yeah. how they fucking rough out and I turn around to you know see what's up and this bro the the guy who was smoking outside of McDonald's rolls up on the bro Clark but but. But he's socking this guy in the face. God. The bro stood there. He's eating it like it's breakfast, right? He's eating it like it's a part of the combo. He's like, um, um, eating these punches like an absolute champion. Oh my god! And at this point, everybody's like, fucking, all of the boys stand up and fucking surround this guy. Yeah. And there's some security, like some security guards that are off work. Yeah. Eating, and they get in the way as well. And we're really, you know, like. A, a, a lot of the lads were ready to fucking jump this guy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was like, it was, then we fe we, we heard what he was saying. Uh, he was screaming about how the bro had broken into his house and his wife. And he was oh. also talking about how he was trying to kill him with his superpowers. And it was just like, oh man. You know, I really... It That's was just he stupid. was so I don't think it was I don't think it was just you know a bit of cannabis that he was smoking, but fuck man. No, people are strange. Harking back, harking back, episode one. But um, yeah, no, it was. It, I I feel bad for the guy because it's just kind of like, you know, there's there's a road he he just went down like an unfortunate path. And yeah, fuck man. It, yeah, it, he, it, we had to, like, you know, get the police involved in everything, because, you know, he clearly wasn't well. But, um, yeah. I mean, thinking about, like, meth heads, do you have any... <laughs> in the big city, have you had any encounters um, with any cracked out cunts? Because uh, I don't know about you, since moving here, I'm fucking... It's just their everywhere. I don't... 
venture out into town all that much. Yeah, that's fair. Um, I stay local, um, explore around here. Yeah, man, I, I, I'd, I'd, I mean, I'd stick around here as well. It's this, a beautiful spot. Like, you look that way, it's pretty cool. It's, it's, a, it's a gorgeous creek if we can... Man, if I knew if the water looked if, if I knew the water looked so clean, I was gonna I should have brought some togs, eh? I would have gone for a dip. It's yeah, it's it's pretty cool. It's gorgeous out here, yeah. Um, there's a nice bench over there and that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah. So not really, although there was this one time I was walking to somewhere, I've forgotten where, and I was about seven o'clock in the morning. Um, I was walking on the street, and you know you get those people sitting on the side of the side of the street, mm. signs up, money, yeah. spare yeah. change, mm -hmm. that sort of stuff. I'm just minding my own business, going down, down the road. There was one of them that I glanced at as I was walking past and thought nothing of it, um, until I walked past them. They come up, grab my legs as I'm walking, and I go. Yo, like, what the hell, mm -hmm. bro? What yeah. are you doing? Fucking let go. Uh, and he just go, and he, oh, I can't, just words. <laughs> was he just saying things at you? It, it was just saying words. Made no sense. And I was like, bro, what are you talking about? Get the hell off my leg. It's seven in the morning. <laughs> Like, bro! Nah, maybe he was saying something really just like, and just so, so intelligent that you wouldn't understand. And so I eventually just like, kick, mm -hmm. kicked them off and just continued on walking. And I'm, I'm looking down and I can see a hand coming forward again. And I go, nah. nah fuck. Like, what are you doing? Wait, so he he's, he's, no, no, no. He's walking behind me. So he got up. So, <laughs> like, I'm walking like this, right? Yeah. And he's walking behind me like this. Oh, trying, to yeah. grab my, trying to grab my legs. And so, I, so I'm so i walking and I stop. He walks into the back of my legs and falls back. And I go, what the fuck, the fuck you want, bro? And just keep on walking. It was so weird. I, I don't understand what was going through that guy's mind. No. Oh, bro. So maybe he, just, he was just a fan of your <laughs> shoes, right? Hold on, brother. Let well, me my, talk to your shoes real quick. My rust-ass Reeboks <laughs> that I had on back, back then. Man, I don't know what the hell is going on. Let me rub. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, fuck, It bro. was weird. Man, it's... it's You know, I've noticed, um, like, homeless people are a little more... I don't know how, fucking, how fucked up that sounds more crafty now because it's like yeah like i'll go into my local like night and day and they'll and i'll walk in or like i'll go in with some friends and not even have any money on me yeah and i'll i'll walk in and uh, one of the bros yesterday was like oh do you have any spare change i was like oh no sorry bro i don't have any cash yeah and he was like oh then will you get five dollars out for me and i yeah. was like oh bro i literally have it, no money and fuck he just gave me the stankest eye it's like I don't even have enough money for myself. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Let yeah. alone. Like, I, I mean, man. The fact that they, like, chase you down to an ATM. Bro. Like, that is... No, they'll post up by ATM. Yeah. It's like... Like, since when did they... Ow. Oh, my God. My done, juice. You've done cooked it now. That's going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Like... Since when have they done that? No clue. Well, I, actually, that that reminds me. At uh, one time, right? I'm with um the bro Alex. Yeah. Right. We're posted up, and I've decided, right? I think I'm gonna get me a little Hell's pizza. Right. Fair enough. So I'm feeling devious, and I walk to Hell's. Yeah. Meet up with the bro. What's good, man? Right. We dap each other up. Hell yeah. He doesn't want anything from Hells that's respectable. I order my shit. There's a dairy right next to Hells, the, uh, my local Hells, right? Yeah. We pop in there, and we decide to get some drams. Nice. Right? You know, wash down the pizza. Yeah. And as we roll into the shop, we're looking at the drinks, and then suddenly we hear a major commotion outside. Right. 
we hear a major commotion. Hey, this and guy, it's... hold on. Oh, hey, this is a devious little, is that a praying mantis? I don't know what the hell he is. Let's get it, let's get a little close up. Where is he? There he is. Fuck, we're really out here now, eh? Yeah. We're animal whisperers here at Yikes We Chillin'. We got the ducks, which is amassed into a small army, by the way. Like, a comical amount of ducks. They're just playing, listening to our lovely podcast. And we got this little guy, whatever the fuck, I think that's... Oh no, that's gonna be like a little step bug or something, yeah. Anyways, we're getting distracted by the beautiful wildlife. We hear a commotion outside of the dairy, right? And it's, it's one guy like screaming and yeah when i say screaming he's screaming at this other guy and i look outside and this other guy's got blood on his face right the guy that's screaming he's got blood all on his mug right and i oh fuck so i, I go back into the shop and then eventually the the guy that was getting yelled at came in with a bloody napkin yeah and he was like oh man that guy got his face kicked in. I was just trying to help him clean up. Fuck. Two seconds later, the guy that was yelling comes fucking barreling into the store. And he's fucking screaming. He's fucking, oh my god! My yeah. face! Got over! Right, he's screaming like, like, exactly like that. And he's missing teeth. He's missing at least five teeth. Yeah. And his face, his mouth, when I say is covered in blood, fucking drenched, right? All over his clothes, all over his hands. Yeah. And he starts screaming. And then I was like, I was re like, I was ready to, you know, I was getting ready to scrap this guy, right? Because he was, he started getting up in my face and being like, I, I asked him, I was like, are you okay, bro? Shit, do you want to support yeah. an ambulance? Yeah, yeah. And he was like, I got my fucking face kicked in. Do you want to buy me new teeth? 50 cents! Uh, huh? And it, like he was getting in my face and screaming at me and I was I was ready to scrap him. Yeah. But I, you know, I stopped, uh, you know, I, I backed up and, you know, I, he, he, he fuck went up to the cash register and he starts yelling at the guy behind the cash register. Yeah. And he's fucking screaming at him and he's like, I got my fucking face kicked in, fucking blah, blah, blah. And then, you know what he does? No, what does he do? He buys a hess and leaves. <laughs> he buys a toke. And then fucks off into the ether. And everybody in the store yeah. was just in shock at the sheer bat shittery of this guy, right? I, I mean, it was... Because he... Apparently he was a lo like a local, like, meth head that went around and, like, harassed people and shit. Oh, okay. So clearly, you know, he was fucking around like that other guy was fucking with you. Yeah. And he found out, right? Yeah. He, like, I just want to know what happened to cause him in that state. Because, like, his face, when I say it was fucked up, it was fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. like, we ended up calling the police. Don't know if they found him or not. But yeah, no, we just warned everybody and like, we warned, you know, most of the people that people in, in the dairy and in the fucking area. You ever just like look at like people and go, you're on crack. Yes. Yeah. A lot actually. I had that happen once actually. Um, you we were on crack? <laughs> no. We were dropping um, friends off at the airport. They had a, had a one o'clock flight in the morning. Yeah. And... You know, I wanted to take a bite of them, so I came out to the airport, carried yeah. their bags in for them, yeah. um, and all of that. We got back with me and my mum, and um, turned into my driveway. There's this lady just lying in the middle of my driveway. And, you know, I'm going like, what's going on? So was she just like posted up there? Yeah, she's just lying in, in the middle of, middle of our driveway. And my mum says, go inside and wake your father up. And I go, okay. And go in. And um, I said, yo, you know. Yeah, fuck off, right? No, I went to my dad and said, yo, wake up. There's someone outside. He gets up out of bed and my parents are outside talking to this lady. And I, my dad said, go to your room and, and lock your door. I'm like, okay. 
I'm going to my room, lock the door. But we had like security cameras and we could like ch put it on the TV. Right. So I turn on my TV and put it on the TV. I'm watching it and her face, man, it was all like, like wet, like so strange, like just the form from all the drugs that she did. Fuck yeah. And it's like, ah. Oh. So why the fuck are you here? <laughs> yeah. oh, and and I was like, okay, this is re really really weird. And um, so she, and my parents said, right, come on inside, and set her down in the living room, and got her water or something. Yeah. She told she to told them a story of like how she was bed up and just dropped off on the side of the road, and she just needed somewhere to stay just to sleep so she's yeah. just gonna sleep on our driveway apparently so my mum was like nah come on inside we'll get you some water we'll make sure you're okay first and as she's doing that walk, walks past my room my dad goes and says call the cops okay closes the door I whip out my cell phone yo you want to come over here and, Word. So, and so they came just as they were just about to pull in, she ends up going apeshit crazy, smashing glasses and bars, flipping the table, like apeshit crazy because my parents wouldn't give her money. Because obviously fuck? she just wanted money for yeah for for yeah. you know to w smoke whatever. Yeah, just as she was doing that, the cops came in Thank and they Christ saw her doing man. it, and like casually walked in. Oh shit! Tackle her to the ground for her yeah, yeah. and go, what the fuck are you doing? Get on the ground! Um, my chair is sinking, so I'm just going to really quickly DIY it. Reset, reset. <laughs> this is the problem with filming on a location with, like, soft sand, eh? Fuck. <laughs> I'm just going to, like, see ya. Bro, at, like, you're playing... <laughs> you're playing the fire. <laughs> <laughs> um... Oh, while Mouse is fixing his uh, his seating arrangement, you want to know what the word of the day is, Zach? The word of the day today, it's an Irish slang term. I'm okay. I'm devious. Donnybrook. Can we take any guesses what Donnybrook means? Donnybrook. Brook. Brook. Mm, Donnybrook. It's an Irish slang term referring to an argument, riot, or conflict. Named after a part of Dublin in Ireland. So how would you use it in a sentence, though? Ah, uh, fiddly oh. dee potato. These cunts are having a wee bit of a Donnybrook. <laughs> Imagine walking down the street and hearing that, eh? Well, I mean, that's just a day in the life of a resident in Dublin, Ireland. Good God. I really should invest in a dictionary or a thesaurus, huh? I do have actually a little story to do with Donnybrooks. Okay, yeah. The same, the same week... The same week as I um, as I saw that guy get um scream in the um dairy. Yeah, I saw two separate brawls, one after like one night after the other. Okay. Just like full like scraps with people. One was right up. I went to town right after um my uni ball. I'm all dressed up. Yeah. And I decide to head to town for a few drinks. Fair enough. Then fuck, on Courtney Place. I saw like five cunts just run at each other and they were punching and fucking scrapping and then two cops come along but and take wow. them out. I stopped one of them from getting arrested. It was gangster. I was like, hey, there are cops. And he was like, word, and then disappeared. <laughs> but yeah, that's all I had to say. I, I, I that Donnie brought, brought it to mind. Where did there you go? There you go. Zach, do you have any, I'll, I'll trade you. I'll trade you this for some questions. Oh, I think that's a swell trade. I would like to personally apologize to the audience for the audio. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a bit fucked. Um, but I do have some questions for you gents. Okay. Um, these are questions that you can answer potentially with a story. Okay. Uh, I haven't got that many, I've got three of them. Oh, you're sinking too. Oh, I'm done. Oh, hold on, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. She's a bit fucking, yep. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Alright, question one for the committee. 
is what is the best decision you've ever made? The best decision I've ever made? Like, just ever? A majority of good decisions that I've made have always been where I've gone, uh, I don't know, yes? And because of that, some pretty cool things have happened. I'll tell you what, mm -hmm. saying yes to joining the catchment. Oh, fuck yeah. Um, how long ago did I join? That was in um, February of 2020. Yeah. Oh, that's a long time ago. Um, and it was a time where I wasn't very sociable. Mm. I just moved schools recently. None of my friends were with me, my old friends, and I lost touch with everyone. And kind of guess I was going through like a rough patch yeah. and going, uh, and like I didn't fully know who I was. Yeah, it's hard to adjust. And it's hard to adjust at yeah, that time, right? Yeah, and I don't know why I said yes, but I did. And because of that, I've met some really incredible people. I've been able to do some pretty cool things. With all of that, it's kind of brought me out of my shell. Yeah. And I feel comfortable being myself and I can be who I want to be. Yeah. Do the things that I want to do. And it's really just made my life better. And now you're filming a podcast and now in the sewer. I'm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The hell. <laughs> but yeah, Fuck. that's probably one of my best decisions yeah, I've made man. is saying yes. Uh, I mean, as like an outside onlooker, man, like, I, yeah, I got like the pleasure to, you know, watch you come out of your shell and it's just kind of been awesome, right? Yeah. Watching you be more comfortable with yourself. And doing dumb shit you that I do. Don't. It's stupid, <laughs> but it's funny and we all laugh about exactly. it. Exactly. It fucking makes some cool anecdotes. Yeah. My best decision I've ever made was probably moving to Wellington. You reckon? I love it here, seriously. Yeah. And I'm, you know, I'm doing only what I could have dreamed of. I'm, I'm studying, I, I'm studying music, which is my passion. Yeah. I, I've, you know, I'm making a podcast, which is also my fucking <laughs> passion. Yeah. Right? I, I, I got to meet, like, you know, most of the catchment this year, right? I'd only been, I'd only been a, a silly voice on a computer for the past what How three two three years Zach? yeah i've been about that long eh? it's, it's been it's it's been a while since i've joined the catchment but it's like it feels like things can only get better as well oh totally right? it, uh, beautiful city with all of my friends it's kind of just like i'm on the up baby yeah and we'll see where shit takes us i guess yeah yeah next question Question two of three. If you could have dinner with one person from history, dead or alive, who would it be? It's a tough one. Yeah. The first name that comes to mind for me, Freddie Mercury. Why is that? Because, first of all, fucking, in my opinion, probably the best, best male singer of all time. Yeah. Right. And he had some batshit crazy parties. He had some batshit crazy, just like, I want to, I just want to pick his brain about everything. The songs he writes, he wrote one of the best songs in history, right? Bohemian Rhapsody, yeah. one of the most recognizable and arguably probably the, like the greatest rock song of all time. And I'd like to pick his brain about how he writes, his process, his partying. And I just, I'd, I'd want to get to know the guy. He seems fucking, that'd be gangster. Yeah. Just a race um, dinner with Freddie Mercury, wouldn't hurt. I think for me, I'm quite into design, mm -hmm. so I guess Steve Jobs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Picking his brain. Fuck yeah. Some of the things that he would say, I reckon that would be quite cool. Mm -hmm. That yeah, he was a really innovative man. He was innovative. But his way of doing things was like quite backwards as well. How so? creating a market for a product that had been been released like here's this thing you're going to need it because of this not making something for an already existing market yeah you know and just these like wacky things that he would come up with that just so happen to work mm -hmm. like i think that the is, iPod, yeah. ipod who the fuck needs the ipod right yeah like who needed the ipod because 
like it was all like your Walkman and all that yeah. sort of stuff. And he made the iPod and it took off. That would be really interesting, like being able to talk with like a like a really like famous tech dev, like um um Bill Gates would be another one. Yeah. That could be called, or like you know Mark Zuckerberg. Good old Zuck. Fuck, he's a bit of he's a bit of a strange lad. Can we get like a picture of his mug for some reason? Yeah. Just like look, let's. That's put- a bit odd, eh? <laughs> yeah. Who's who says he isn't a lizard? <laughs> I certainly don't. My final question for the committee. Yep. Shoot. Final question of the season. In fact, Crazy. that's a little fucked up. Yeah. yeah. What is your favourite inside joke with a friend, and what's the story behind it? My personal favourite is um a while back in like i'm talking like year 11. okay uh, it was for a while like with me and like all of the drama kids you know crank that by soldier boy would all like just out of nowhere be like Zoo! <laughs> and that's would just would spawn in and would like say that or like <laughs> yeah we'd just fuck around with songs like um there was this kid in my high school, his, his, uh, I'm not going to say his name actually, but he he always took his guitar to school Yeah. and then spawn in and he'd only play Wonderwall, right? Wonderwall or like maybe Riptide if he was feeling, if he was feeling a bit quirky. Yeah. But yeah, it was like his boss music. Okay. If you heard Wonderwall, he was coming. Yeah. He's coming. Right. Jing, 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 jing. He's coming. Yeah. <laughs> right? And so... For years, I, up to this day, right, we all hate Wonderwall with a passion. Because, because of, of this yeah. guy. Goodness <laughs> me. I said maybe. Get out of my drink, you um, bastard. I reckon for me, so me and a few mates, we'd, we'd always go out and do like productions, our school productions and, mm. and run them all and all that sort of stuff. So we were out of, out of classes for like a good week, week and a half. And we would be bumping into each other, walking around the corridors as we're going around and getting everything we need and all that sort of stuff. And I think just out of nowhere, we just started calling it ourselves Doctor. <laughs> like, Doctor, Doctor. Yeah, mm-hmm. And we just went past and we just kept on saying Doctor to each other. <laughs> and like, we've all gone our separate ways, mm. but they're no longer at high school and, yeah. and all of that sort of stuff. And yeah, we've, whenever we bump into each other, just randomly in the side of the street, whenever we bump into each other randomly, mm-hmm. Doctor. Doctor. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how it came about, but it did. And it's like just it. something that stuck. Oh, man. And yeah, four years later, and it's still going that's on. That's classic, though. <laughs> no, that's classic. Yeah. Like, we would see, see each other in the most randomest places, too. Fucking public toilet. Doctor. Doctor. <laughs> and, like, we don't say, straight face, don't say anything else. Like, you know, what have you been up to? It's like, Doctor. And we would go our separate ways. And the thing is, whenever that, whenever that was said, you never talk about that moment ever again. Yeah. Oh, fuck. So it's not like you ring up and go, what the fuck are you doing out? No, mate. Out, you're this way. Well, thank you for the questions. Um, but, yeah. I mean, obviously with the questions, that can only be one thing. And unfortunately, our time is running short. It's yeah, this is a bit weird. This is what, so we've, we've reached the end of, of, of season one. I know. Of Yikes, it's show. crazy, eh? It's a bit f- fucked up. I, this, it's just it's so weird to me because, again, I still feel like it was yesterday we were sitting in a Discord call going, like, you know, when's the Michael and Mouse po- podcast coming yeah. out? Yeah, that was ages ago, eh? Fuck. But yet again, it feels like just like yesterday. Fuck. But, I mean, summer's here. Yeah. Are you getting up too much for summer, Mouse? You doing much for Christmas, New Year's? Uh, I've got family coming over oh, from the UK. Oh, that'll be awesome. I haven't seen them in about four years. Oh, fuck yeah. So, chatting with them, catching up with them, and having a good time. Yeah, man. Um, but other than that, just working, really. Yeah, man. Trying to keep, trying to keep busy, keep yeah. out of trouble. Yeah, bro. What about you? Um, I've also got family coming over, but, you know, got some brothers coming over from Oz. Haven't seen them since, oh, okay. you know, since the Rona hit. Oh, uh, yeah. Um... Yeah, but they'll be coming over for Christmas, so nice. it'll be awesome to see them. Um, but other than that, probably for New Year's, just going to be gone, you know, meeting up with the lads back home. Because yeah. as much as I love it here in Wellington, I still miss my boys back home. 
Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go see my fucking boys. Shout out to you fuckers. <laughs> um, yeah, man. But other than that, taking it easy. Yeah. Working, trying to make money. I so I'm not poor. I'll tell you one thing. I will be doing. What? That is cooking up the ten next episodes. Oh yes. Two. Oh man. Fuck, season two. We're, we're going to make season two a bit longer. Yeah. Because we're going to be going for a whole fucking year. One whole year of Yikes Sweet Chillin'. Yeah. It's coming your way. I, we've got, we, we do have some solid plans that we can't disclose. No. But I think you guys are going to fucking eat it up. We've got some pretty good ideas. We're going to do some format changing as well. Yeah. Speaking about eating up. Mm. You got some bites. Um, yeah, so we're, if you may have noticed, if you've been keeping your eyes peeled on the catchment, um, we do have a clip, a, a, a small series of clips called Yikes Bites. Up there. There's the last episode of Yikes Bites. Um, it's probably from episode four or five, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, oh man, it's, it's just like, um, it's crazy. Um, we're going to be... We're, we're, we're going to be condensing them down to be a bit shorter though for more of a TikTok kind of style TikTok and Instagram reels speaking and of TikTok and Instagram yeah we will, got, be, um, we will be we will be we've got Instagram at uh up there at, I don't remember the at off the top of my head it has yikes <laughs> me chilling in it um <laughs> check us a follow say but, hi um I will be I will be making a TikTok TikTok account keep your eyes peeled peeled because we've got some uh we've got some major stuff yeah coming your way with that I think it's time to say our goodbye for season one. Fuck. Oh. Um, it's been a pleasure. It's been awesome, bro. I know. This has been... We're in a fucking sewer. <laughs> right. I mean, who thought that we would end up here? Not me. No. Well, episode one. Clearly we had the foresight, though. Yeah. Oh, now, are you, able, are you okay to get yourself on? Is yeah, mate. Right? Yeah, mate. Right. I've got to shoot off. Oh, gives us a hug, bro. No. Take it easy, man. We'll see you. We'll see you guys later. Later. So we're...